There, help! I've been tied. Oh, thank the aid to oblivion with these damned mages. No amount of gold is worth this kind of treatment. Sun and Shadow asked me to come measure her for a new dress. Soon after I arrived, a pack of Telvani thugs burst through the door and dragged her off. One of them shouted something about Tel Arun. That's all I know. Please, just set me free. Hello, anyone home? Oh, scrib jelly. I'm too late. Yes, well, I came to warn Sun in Shadow, but it seems I arrived too late. I guess I should warn you too. My most benevolent master, Muthsera Gothrin, is... disgruntled. Oh yes, peeved, in the extreme. Magister Gothrin promoted me to mouth, but he still grieves for Rolassa. As you know, grief often gives way to anger. Apparently his gentle disposition has limits when it comes to assassinating his servants. Pity I didn't get here sooner. I thought perhaps with time his fury might abate. I'd make all haste to tell Arun if I were you. Muthsera Gothrin respects courage and candor. If you speak to him directly, you might receive better treatment. You go on ahead. I'll wait here for a bit.
Magister is a... Eminently predictable, you and your lizard cohort. Ah, the murderer appears. I should thank you for saving me the trouble of hunting you down. Watching you peasants struggle against the inevitable is exhausting. Don't waste my time with flimsy pretense. Did you really think you could kill my mouth and get away with it? I see all. Your clumsy intrigue is no exception. If you wish to save your life and that of your friend, you will perform a task for me. Magister Othery made a discovery some weeks ago. A relic, or some dwarven device, perhaps. He refuses to share the details, so I am compelled to take those details by force. Steal his notes from Telnaga, and deliver them to my new mouth, Aerith. That depends on what information you retrieve. If it's useful, we can discuss the terms of the Lizard's freedom. That's as much of a promise as you'll get from me. Be grateful I am giving you a chance to rectify the wrong you've done me. What's this? I don't I'm like uninvited guests. I'm sure you guests. weren't invited up here. Off you go. What's this? I don't like uninvited guests. My master would show you mercy. Do you have something for me? Well done. I think my master wants to speak with you himself. Try not to make him angry, all right? Well, it's about time. Come, servant. 
You retrieved the journal. That was competent. Ah, yes, this is Othery's journal. His penmanship has gotten even worse. So, it's a dwarven artifact, then. A merged tonal prism? My, my, that does sound intriguing. Seems he tucked it away in his Kwama mine, Zalkin Su. You will fetch it for me. I said nothing of the sort. If your work pleases me, I may deign to release your friend and forget your misdeeds. But make no mistake, Nua. I've given you no word to keep. Go to Zalkin Su, acquire the prism, then bring it to me in Tel Aru. Hey, you need something? Sure is. You're looking for work? Nah, you're the adventurous type. Only time you'll live to pick is to bash in some beastie's skull, am I right? <laughs> of course I am. What brings you out here to the arse end of nowhere? Well, it isn't locked. Go ahead and take a peek. Might want to keep it quiet, though. Don't want Oteri's guards spotting you, trust me. They keep things locked down tighter than my fat auntie's bodice. Sure. I've got a few minutes. Yeah, who am I kidding? I've got plenty of time! What do you want to know? Other than Oteri's guards? We have cave-ins every now and then. Unruly slaves and such. 
Then there's Mazanchent. But I'm sure you're not interested in that. Ash, get in your eyes on the way here? You can't miss those gloomy old dwarf towers. The way I hear it, Mazanchen ruins cut right under the mine. Plenty of treasure down there just waiting to be plucked. Figured you'd find it quickly enough. <laughs> I knew you weren't interested in Guama Caves. One of those black-hearted magisters sent you to filch this thing, am I right? I've got a proposition. I can tell you what little I know and give you a key to Mzanchent. In exchange, you give me any notes you find in there. Anything about how it was built, what it does, anything. Got a nice offer from an interested party. Well, that does make things easier. Gold's gold, right? So, Terry locked the crystal in place and took certain parts of the machine so no one else could turn the damn thing off. The parts you need are somewhere in Mazanchent, but I'm not sure where. I spent a lot of time watching Oteri. From what I can tell, you'll need a crank, a spur gear, one of the smaller pistons, and, uh, uh, some kind of handle. Sure. I've been keeping a sharp eye on Oteri ever since... Don't let some dwarven...
Times cuts. The Kwama are... What does this say? Never mind. Get out of here through the East Mine. Maybe the restrictions in Mournhold will ease now that the temple is safe again. Get yourself killed? That's promising. Ugh. What's that I smell? Grease and Kwama dung? Let's make this quick, Noir. I won't have you soiling my rugs any longer than necessary. 
The prism. Do you have it? Well, that is a surprise. I do hope this isn't some cheap forgery, for your sake. Ah, some kind of merged tonal prism. A lively one, too. Fascinating. I do hope that fool Othery didn't damage it. He's almost as clumsy as you. Vexhead, do you still labor under the delusion that you have some power in this place? Huh. It's hardly worth discussing. I've grown tired of our little chats. You completed the task I set before you. You can have your lizard back. Sarah, I cannot thank you enough for helping me. I wasn't sure if I'd ever leave Tel Arun alive. I'm sorry. I know I've asked too much of you. Sage advice. I've had my fill of schemes for now. I plan to dedicate myself to my studies and try to patch things up with the Oki. The last time I saw him, I said some hurtful things. Again, thank you. Next time you're in Sadrith Mora, come visit. I am a free mage of House Telvani. You had no right to imprison me. You presume to lecture me? You, who conspired to kill my servant? Thank whatever scaly gods you worship that I didn't rend the flesh off your back and feed you to the tower's roots. Cross me again, and your life is forfeit. We're done. Be gone. thought my worst humiliations were behind me. I guess I was wrong. Yes, well, I will be languishing in Gothrin's slave pens, just it took me back to darker times. Reminded me of the risks and my good fortune up to this point. Perhaps I've been pushing too hard. I have a great deal to think about. I'll return to Sadrith Mora and continue my studies. Talk to Ioki. Bury myself in a good novel. Come and visit. It would be great just to sit and talk for a while as friends. I still owe you that cup of tea, right? You return escaping Khajiit to that beast Gothrin. And now I hear about our egg kin crushed in the Zalkin Sul mine. I thought I understood you. 
but I do not. Aoki, wait! I'm trying to be strong enough for the both of us. Aoki berated me because the Zalkin Sul cave and killed some miners. You stole the prism to save us from Magister Gothrin. I suffered humiliation in a cage while you did what was necessary. Is that so wrong? No, of course not. I care deeply for Aoki. I want to help him, but I can't save everyone. I serve House Telvani. I am Telvani. He must understand that the house traditions may bend, but they will not break. I've never seen him so angry. I certainly hope not. But if he's lost faith in our plan, anything's possible. Ioki won't listen to me, but he might still heed your counsel. Would you talk to him? The Magisters will only tolerate so much defiance. If he makes another attempt, 